Okay, so now that we got this note, we're going to present it to Max. Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder. It was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? I guess it wasn't really a company. It was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredibly bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun away from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Just tell me! Okay, well, it should be pretty obvious where we're going. Once again in here... Move... Bring Master's Room... Max! And the Ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the Ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that? Maybe it was cold or something. Mm, we're going to examine. Let's examine there. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the tailcoat. You know? I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet it's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Now let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it! It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet at 10 p.m. tonight at the lodging house. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Ooh, okay, well that's all we needed. Hmm. We're gonna start moving to the Lodge Plaza. Lodge Plaza! Move. Circus entrance. Oh my god! Hey, Detective Gumshoe! I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But with Miss Von Karma. Uh. Nick! What is that? That beeping sound? Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go, go ahead and get out of here, quick! See ya, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go! It's freezing out here. Uh-oh! Ow! That whip could cut right through me! Va Von Karma. She really did appear. It was a battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Ugh, I don't want to talk to her. Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something, eh? Huh, I'm amazed you picked up that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with your ten paper ba with ten paper bags over your head. 
I've got conclusive evidence and conclusive witness. Need any more hints? Uh, conclusive witness. You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it already. You want to beat me and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow, nothing will be able to bring your dad back! My dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad! I know you miss him! Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this or any other conversation? Then, then what's this revenge thing you keep talking? You're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again one more time. Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer, Miles Edgeworth. Well, what? Edgeworth, Mr. Edgeworth? M -M Miles Ed 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 Edgeworth. What the hell do you want to see him about? Miles Edgeworth? Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Manmit Mont Karma? Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. But after that case was over, he vanished. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick! What does she mean? Edgeworth's death? What? After that case, Edgeworth was in peculiar state, and he got even- he got worse every day. He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. It was right after you left to go home, back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world. He's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddled the honorable name Von Karma. I'm going to find him. Then I'm going to teach him in the difference between right and wrong with my own hands. Now, Nick, um, about Edgeworth? May, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? And Nick? Von Karma. What? I don't know if you are God's gift of prosecutors or not, but I've had enough of you. Him, too. Well, what happened? Hmph. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you to today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. <sighs> oh my god. Acro's room. Whoa! He's got birds! And an Indian! And stuff! You must be Phoenix Wright. Yes? Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you definitely show up here. Acro! You're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform, all I perform in is my wheelchair. He's got a- why is he in a wheelchair? 
Akro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the Ringmaster. The Ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the Ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm. If he spoiled... I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina's so cute! She's truly a princess! Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm. Do I detect a hint of grudge against Regina? Huh. Alright, let's... Let's be a little, uh, uncouth about this and, uh, ask him about that. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. That's awful! The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um... Psylox! A Psylox! It doesn't seem like Akro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's almost been six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice six months ago. What in the world went on at that circus, then? Hmm. Do, do, do. Let's ask what happened. I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in the, your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got to the, the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. Okay, what did you witness? What did you see, Acro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see! The scene of the crime was right below your window! That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. Hee <laughs> hee! Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. The Nick. Okay, um... We're done with him for now. We're going to the lodging house. Plaza, plaza! Circus entrance. And Big Top. December 29th. Very big circus. Big Top. Grrr! I've got a bad feeling about this! Grrr! Ah, Nick! Wonderful! Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix! Stay! Stay! Here! Oh, Mayor Nick, it's nice, you guys. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A m m mistake Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. M a monkey? Okay, Regina. You crazy... Cr crazy... Ugh... It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was! I loved my dad so much! 
I hate to say this, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course! You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Let's ask about the monkey! Just to go back and clear something up, why did you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie! He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got a lot of spangle. It's really beautiful, you should see it. What are spangles? When the costume gets hit by a spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney! Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my dress back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, I don't know which to pick. I as as uh, 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 they're all so perfect. I don't. But if I. Leave it up to us! There's no way I could turn down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it? Oh my god. Alright, present. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket, this piece of paper? Was it... was it in your pocket? Hmm, I guess I noticed it... was in the, around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah! I always take Acro... his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I'd go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realized the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep! But since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged to someone else's pocket. And then what? I wonder if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? Hmm... So it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this? Okay. We are gonna leave her to her own devices. <sighs> you know, if the guy's in a wheelchair, I would think that they would, uh, let him down onto the first floor. December 29th, Lodging Hall, first floor, Moe's room. Hmm, Moe's not here. What's that? I hear something. So stop it, Nick! You're scaring me! Ah, it's a monkey! Nick, it's money! That monkey's gotten his hands on something again. That's it! That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take this monkey... A <laughs> attorney style! Uh... Uh... Again! They're all so perfect! Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Wah! Ah, ooh! Yikes! Wah! I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, what's that? I swiped it while money was distracted. Really? You're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. 
You know what I mean? I really want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well. Guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Okay.